Let me confront them. And oh. Uh. <laughs> Hello everybody my name is comical ninja and welcome back to another episode of the elder scrolls 3 morrowind and in this episode we're going to review a mod that adds all of morrowind into morrowind uh, i said morrowind twice but yes this is the tamriel rebuilt mod which adds basically everything that was supposed to be in morrowind but yeah so first things first we're going to go back to dagon fell and take a boat to one of these areas so two thousand years later well, I'm on my way to Dagon Fell, and I've come across a mushroom forest, which looks pretty cool. And this is the stereotypical Morrowind aesthetic of mushrooms, giant mushrooms, I may add, and dark and like dusty um, terrain, which is actually a bit different once you uh, get to the mainland. And there are areas that look like Skyrim up north in the uh, northwest. There are areas that look like um, dark, I was going to say dark marsh, uh, black marsh uh, down below near Narsus. And there are areas that look like, you know, Cyrodiil and all these different places down there. And we've made it again back to civilization uh, from the orc um, stronghold of Malakath Shrine back to Dagon Fell. And before we head off to the uh, island, if you guys wouldn't mind click on the like button, uh, comment, and subscribe as well. So, we talk to Hema Farseer. She will take us to Telmora, which is normal. Cool. Normal as well. Firewatch and Baharamu. Let's head off to Firewatch, which is a new city that is Imperial. And as you can see, they have created an amazing mod. Look at this. This does not look like anything that was in Morrowind originally. Especially with the massive fishing massive uh, ships i mean and the port and the great tower that's above my view distance well, there listening. seems so to be ahead. okay man please there seems to be a massive uh fortification here so can we enter do they Three. care Ooh, and it'll open like that that's cool and this seems to be like a fort like fort moonmoth but at a much bigger scale there's a mages guild here and a I bosmer what do you do? You're a Khajiit. Is this one of the... No, you're high. You're a Bosmer. Okay, that must be a confused Khajiit. That's fine. And we'll head on into the... Mage's Guild of this area. And talk yes. to... Somebody. To yes, travel. Commander. You? That's spells. I might you check your attention. spells. Good fortune. Okay, I must be a member. I can join if you'll let me. Yes. Okay. Spells? Okay. Should be one of you guys. It's her. Oh, Outlander. Did you want something? So, Narciss. Ooh, let's go to Narciss. Yeah. Narciss is way, 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 way below. It's near Argonia, which is pretty cool. Can you ask Narciss? A question quick? Let's go and check around. There isn't much to do, you know, in this mod at the moment. As you can see, this place isn't as um, done as other places will be, such as all Alexia. But I just want to look around and show you guys. And this is something you'll see a lot with the unfinished uh, areas. That if it doesn't say door to something, it means that it's not finished yet. So Narciss isn't complete. And, you know, it's pretty funny that, you know, there's some areas like this where the entire city will be here. But no one will be living in it. It's like a ghost town. Travel to... Oh, that's a different place. I want to go through here. Let's go to Amalexia. Well, this is Amalexia, the capital of Morrowind. And where Mornhold is situated. And unlike what the game has told everybody, that Mornhold is capital, it isn't. Mornhold is a royal capital of Morrowind. So the capital of the court of the king of Morrowind, Halalu Helseth. And um, Almalexia, which is the city around Mornhold, is the capital of Morrowind itself. 
I need to go to Old Ebonheart. Go ahead. Yep, this is How Old Ebonheart. And you can tell that this is completely finished because the actual area looks like, you know, uh, the area. How this can I lady help you? has weird eyes. Okay. Now, I could steal some of your candles, but I don't want to get a bounty. Sorry about the frame rate, guys. But this is Old Ebonheart, the imperial capital of Morrowind, and the administrative heartland of the empire in this area. This is pretty cool. And we can talk to this guy and ask him what he sells. Hello. You sell amulets. That's pretty cool. There should be a quest nearby that we can do for a man who lost his horse. Outlander. Right here, I believe. Hail, Imperial! You haven't seen a horse around, have you? My beloved Roz has been missing for three days now. I came to Old Ebonheart following rumors that there would be a grand tourney to be held here. I arrived on Morndas Eve, tired from my journey, only to find that the city didn't have proper stables. What they call the tournament here is nothing more than a glorified arena fight, on foot no less. Okay? So, you put Roz in a guar pit with Unessa Sardrithi, the local guar herder, and she is sure that uh, he'll be fine, or her. I don't know if your horse is a male or female. And nobody's seen her. Okay, she's dead, probably. Roz is dead. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that, but Roz is probably dead. I'll go find your horse, of course. And this is the one of the first times the I Empire, heard. Citizen. Yes, of course, of course. The Nine in the Empire. But uh, this is the first time I heard that there are horses, you know, in Morwind, because they don't talk about horses that much. And she should be somewhere here. I know that the Guar Pits are on the docks, so... Okay, I think I found the Guar Pits. Um, where I came out of was not actually the main gate of Old Ebonheart. It was this side. So, you are, yeah, yes, Unessa. Have you seen Roz? Did that Swift of the Night tell you? Or send you? He escaped? Okay, now leave you alone. Are you sure? Okay. She's clearly hiding something. So, should I persuade you? I'll give you 100 gold. Okay. Very well admitted. A pair of Ashlanders came by at dusk with a great load of chitin, of chitin for barter, worth far more than the knight was offering to watch the grotesque beast. He had been so rude to me, and they seemed so interested in the animal, offering their chitin for it. I gave in. Please, don't tell Fararli. The Ashlanders' names are Yavin and Sainet, from the Obanit tribe. There's still a little chance that you find them before, well, they're going to eat him. Probably this way. But, you know, us being an Imperial, you know, we follow the laws and such. Azura Jr. is an Imperial, if you guys didn't know that. And, uh, yeah, so we're probably going to go and talk to him and see what he's going to do. And maybe the two um, thieves are going to get the King's Justice. Hello, sir. Um, I have bad news for you. Or good, we don't know. Roz, yes. I talked to her. No. Okay. Do you need something? I know what to do. Do I have to go? Okay. Um. Yeah. I have to go and stop them. I can't just tell him. Well, we seem to have reached uh, the city of Dondril. And these are Indoro guards, which are you pretty cool. Speak. They have, like, southern armor, basically, to keep them cool in this area. So... I think we still have to go this way now, and that uh, thing is missing its texture, which is fine. Okay, well, I think I've found them. There are these two men, so do a quick save, and then let me confront them. And, oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to even talk to the guy with their chitin war axe and their the horse meat. So, yeah, do you know who Roz is? Oh, you mean the horse? You're a bit late. Uh, we butchered her and started to eat the carcass? Um, didn't taste anything like guar, even less like a nyx hound. Strange beasts they have west. Continue? Uh, for our deal, we were under the impression your friend the knight was sold, has sold it to the guar herder. Our trade with her was fair and forthright. We suspected no ill will. If what you say is true and the herder sold us what was hers, then take these... <laughs> okay, with their apologies. Okay. However, hmm. Speak, traveler. So I have a choice here. I can take this first, right? Yeah. Do I kill them or? 
Hmm. Because, you know, they did buy it from her under the impression that she owned it. So it was her fault anyway. She should die, so. But they did eat a horse. Oh my god. Oh, they're so weak. So can you stop? Oh, this guy's smart. Well, goodbye, my friend. He had a lot of netch and horse meat, of course, on him. And he had some arrows and some bows, which I've never used before in the game. So, yeah, we can take his bargain restore health and his shirt, maybe. And I'll take the horse meat. I'll give it back to him, you know, as a consolation prize. Here's your horse. She may not be alive or breathing even. So, you know, you can eat her. These Enderal guards are pretty cool, Do though. I know you. Because, you know, in regular Morrowind, they're only the Ordinators and the Arbident, uh, other, the Vivex people as well. And, um, Halalu guards and the, um, Telvani guards as well. And Redoran guards, yeah. And Sky Outlander. You have we a very weird face. Warmly. I haven't seen a, a, a Dwemer, I was going to say. I haven't seen a Dunmer with a beard like that before. You do look like a Dwemer, though, so... He might be hiding something. We don't know. And we're back. You can see the knight guarding us. Or the Imperial Legion. Legionnaire guarding us. And the guy should be right here. And I'll tell him that I killed um, the two. And hopefully he'll give me something. Hello. Uh, yes, Roz. Uh, she, she's dead. Roz, my sweet Roz. I had a bag of yams waiting for her when she'd come back. How did she die? Who's responsible? Um... Yeah, Unessa sold her to Yvonne and Sainat, who killed her. They're all responsible. They ate her and tried to apologize. I don't want their damned bow. They took the only thing in this world that mattered to me. All of some savage ritual and their primitive curiosity. I'll show them the pain. Okay. So, Unessa is dead? Let's go off and see. Let's see what the journal says now. Yep. She's probably dead. Oh, and they're fighting now. Oh, this is cool. I can't intervene or else she'll, she'll kill. Um, the guards will kill me. So let's watch this. That was cool. And you have 100 gold. Thank you. This is stealing. I hope it's not. If it is, I'd rather pay the fine than have to reload. Hey, um, she deserved to tell me where the Ashlanders who ate my horse should walk to Don Drill. Really? No, they're dead, though. I killed them. Oh, I have to go all the way back to Don Drill now. Hey, dude. You were, like, grunting against the wall, maybe? I have the meat on me, if you want to see. Like, I killed them. I took the meat off their body. Yeah, Roz may finally uh, rest in peace. Okay. Roz died for what? Ha. Huh. Ooh, a lance of fiery hoof? A wooden heater shield? I don't care about that. Five ash yams. Okay. And your journal has been updated. Goodbye. Can I kill you? I'm over encumbered. Of course. 85. Or 80, 83. All these spider daggers are worth nothing, so... Best to throw them out. And this is pretty bad as well, but... It's like a... It's a unique item at least, so we'll keep it. Well, next thing's next, uh, we'll go off to Bosmora, or Bosmera, the elven city of House Inderel. Yeah. And then we'll end off the episode maybe there, or maybe we'll go off to Drez Horak, which is the Drez, uh, House Drez city. And then we'll look around. Well, hello, ma'am. I'd like to go and travel to Andothren, maybe? Or, yeah, let's go to Andothren. Which is, okay, it's more of that way. We want to go down to Bosmora here. So, well, I just checked the wiki and I should go travel to back to Old Ebonheart and I need to take the Mage's What's Guild because, story? sorry ma'am, because uh, Bosmora is a landlocked before. area and as such cannot be reached by the sea. Hmm. Okay, well, I found the Mage's Guild up here. 
If we go in, then we can speak to that person right there. Hello, ma'am. Yes, travel to Balsmora right there. Can you ask a question quickly? I must be going. Um, ma'am, are you, do you need help? Medical assistance? Um, you seem to have cloned yourself. This is Bosmora, the veteran or Indoro oh, guard, Lander. with their very, very um, sleek and modern <laughs> um, right angle armor. And these are sellers. And I know what to do first is not this guy. Uh, I don't care. What does he sell? Just, yeah, blaze. Oh, I can sell him my armor, right? The ebony. Oh, he only has 400 gold, though. You're a scroll lady. Do you have any Amalexia or um, AlmCV restoration skill? Intervention, those two. I'd like to buy those and anything else. It's just shield. Yeah, I'll buy that. Thank you. Yes, Outlander. And this is Bosmora. Pretty, pretty cool. And there's an inn. We can go and look around for quests oh, here. Mothsera. Mothsera. There should be a, a local quest or two. In all these locked areas, of course. Something, you know, to earn some quick cash. Ma'am, do you have any, any quests? Ooh, the headquarters. Hello? Burglaries? Sure. Yet, the idea of crime being penetrated on Indoro territory is enough. Okay. Yeah, I can help out. Why not? Okay. Um. Sure. Do I know you? So, assist, yep, in the investigation in Bosmora. He suspects, he suspects Elagal, a visitor who arrived at the temple right before the incident, a Khajiit trader, Kisen. Okay. I am to inquire about the thefts reported by Salams. Okay. Okay, let's head off to the Tribunal Temple first, which is that one, and then to Farth's Manor, which is that one, I believe, right? Are you a traitor? You're no Kisen. To speak. Help Kisen? You do. Um. I can't help you. Sorry. Burglaries? Okay. Kisen learns the reason all the queer looks with Indurel. Okay. More than usual. Okay. You have nothing to do with it. Fine enough. Here's a temple. So we should talk to Elagal. This is her. Hello, Elagal. Burglaries. Yes, I've heard. Okay. So she denies it as well. We can go talk to not I'm her. Waiting. What's the lady's name? Um, Psalms and Faris. Okay. Oh. Go ahead. It's a man? Elagal? She's been courteous. Yeah. Okay, I can only repeat what I told the guards. All monetary donations and a few valuable items have been stolen. Needless to say, our members are beyond suspicion. How can you be so sure? I noticed the thieves the thieves uh, shortly. I learned, sorry, I've noticed the thefts shortly before my students and the brothers came back from their journey. Okay. Um, but I didn't hear or see anything. Little hope. Um, so I just have to go talk to Faris at the man of his mandin. They say mantin? His manor. Which should be a big house somewhere. Just let me up, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be this house, of course. It's always the house on the, you know, the north side of town, basically. Do I know you. Yep, Forest Manor. And, Do I um... Know you? You're enjoying yourself? A little jumpy as always. You may speak. Forest, hey Forest. Forest, you're rich and you have a beard. Pretty cool. Um... Do you know anything about burglaries? Burglaries. I'm saying that weird. Our chest downstairs has been emptied. Okay. Nothing else? They're not going to tell me? So. Okay. Your wife. Okay. Of course. This is you. Okay. Um, Burglaries? Yes. So I need to just go and talk to the guy now. Maybe. And... You know, I'm thinking that these rickety wooden, like, pathways aren't, you know, the best, uh, most safe ways of, you know, travel in the, um, in the area. What is this regarding? They should probably put some, you know, chitin fencing around them or, you know, make them into well, bone mold. Or even just bricks or whatever they're using here. I call it bone mold because it looks like it. And here, hello. Yes, I know everything. Um, I've talked to the victims. 
I found no evidence either. Okay. Here's your trouble. Is that all? Yeah, I can do the cunning plan. The burglary conveniently took place when the owners, at least most of them, were absent. Okay. So, it happens that the guards were lecturing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You will be guarding it. Oh, that'd be cool. In two days. In the... Where is the Indorel vault, though? Outlander, you're here early. Cunning plan. Set up the trap at dawn. What time is dawn? Two hours, maybe? Okay, I'm here. Good. Okay. Follow me. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Why are you walking like you're pregnant? Ooh. We'll be waiting. Okay. Don't worry around. There's a chair. There's no time for talk now. Go. The guards will only leave Bosmora at around 6. So what time is it? It's 6 a.m. right now. Oh, that, uh, this is pretty, pretty frightening. Just sit in the chair. Ooh, okay. So, should I just sit around? Let's do a quick save, and then I'll wait for an hour, maybe? Okay, so what's going to happen here? Ooh, sorry. We will speak in my quarters. Let me reload the save. That messed up. And then I'll wait for him to open the door and then talk to me. Well, adventurer, it seems neither of our suspects were lured in. The plan was foolproof. Had they only had the guts. It isn't disappointing, but none of your fault. I will go maul this over. Here's your payment for your service. 150 gold. Nice armor again. And I think that is done for the part one, at least, of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Tamriel Rebuilt. Well, if you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like, and comment as well. And comment new ideas for mods or other stuff for quests that we can do in this mod pack or in the Skyrim, uh, Home of the Nords, or Beyond Cyrodiil mod pack. And other than that, goodbye.